We'll see the Dallas Mavericks and the Philadelphia 76ers. Welcome to the Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan to call the game with our analyst, for Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Our starting lineup, so look at the matchups here, presented by our good friends at State Farm. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Dirk Nowitzki? Well, Dirk is just so good at the offensive end of the floor, Kevin. The ability to shoot over the top of people. He's added so many things to his game, too. Post-ups, getting to the rim, being aggressive and going to the foul line. Dirk Nowitzki, a first ballot Hall of Famer, no question. Most definitely, Steve. This guy has been phenomenal throughout his career, and very few situations bother him. He's clutch as a scorer, and he's more clutch because he's an excellent free throw shooter, too. And Holiday kicks the binary. Pause over Nowitzki. Pause, no luck. You remember the start that the 76ers got off to a year ago, scorching hot. But when Spencer Hawes was injured, uh, when he hurt his Achilles, it really slowed the Sixers down, and they ended up fading, really, at the end of the year. And Holiday, here we go. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Let's go quickly over to Doris. Oh, 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 now we're cooking with gas, partner. My goodness. Yeah, a breathtaking display of aerial supremacy, no doubt. It's almost unfair, guys. I mean, when you can get up that high, that's crazy. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. And you have to give the ownership a lot of credit for the Mavs' success over the years, guys. A lot of people may not agree with uh, things he has to say, but you can't argue uh, with the success that he's had. He spent his money, his resources, he's put a ton of passion and energy into building that franchise. And uh, it's, it's developed into one of the best in the entire league. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. On the wing, Jason Richardson. Over Mayo. Rebounded by Kamen. And that was not pretty there. you got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. Marion up and in on the way up. Marion's got his first bucket in this one. You talk about passionate ownership on the sideline, actively involved in crafting the roster and the fan experience. You don't get much better than Dallas. From the top all the way down, it's all about winning and not afraid to push for what's best for the NBA. And I think he wants the best for his players, too, and that's why, as a player, you've got to love, admire, and respect that. You know that he wants to win just as much as you do, and it's easy to go the extra mile and commit to a team where that's the case coming from ownership. Holiday against Collison. Holiday goes in over Keenan. Kicks it out to Richardson. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Marion outside. DeMeo. Out of bounds. Philadelphia's ex possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. The 76ers have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Bynum defended by Nowitzki. They get it back. Shot's good from Hawks. Yeah, hard work on the boards, guys, leading to that putback. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Nowitzki, the pass to Mayo. Came in inside, guarded by Hawks. Here's Mayo. The kick out to Collison over Holiday. Collison, no good. The 76ers have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. You know, you look at Rick Carlisle, and I think he's evolved as a coach. His teams early on in his tenure tended to play kind of slowly, uh, very defensive-minded and tough. But you think of the Dallas team that won the title in 2011. They were freewheeling. They were excellent offensively, great spacing. Uh, so I think Rick Carlisle has really evolved as a coach. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Turner with it. Sean Marion covering. Holiday working against me. Feeds it to Richardson. Lock at six. Back to Holiday. Bynum. Outside Holiday. Over Mayo. 
They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Richardson. Hits the three-point foul. Richardson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Both teams deciding to change it up. There's 117 left in the first quarter. See, we're talking about Carlisle's evolution as a coach, adapting his system to fit his team. That's a hallmark, I think, of a pretty good coach. Yeah, I think so, Kevin. I mean, you have to be adaptable in this game because personnel is different from uh, season to season, sometimes from week to week, depending on injuries. And I, I think Carlisle has shown that versatility. He's really good, especially offensively, in drawing up schemes to, to free up players and give them space and take advantage of, of their talents. And... Uh, that's shown with this Dallas club. So both teams changing it up here. Holiday goes in. 16 feet away. Shots good from Young. Young's got his first points of the night. And he will punish an opponent for giving him that much room for mid-range. He'll hit that all day. West, a shot's good. Collison making the play. You know, they'll want to generate more of those shots in tight, guys. The 76ers lead him. It's Young on the wing. Bynum inside. Hammers it home. An open lane right there. Pretty much saw the daylight he wanted and took advantage. Yeah, great opportunity, and he sees it without much hesitation. Yeah, a little too easy, if you ask me. The defense really needs to tighten things up here. West, that's good. Something has to change, guys. That's 10 straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. Here's Bynum, and that's collected by Nowitzki. And here we go with Darren Collison looking for his first bucket of the game. Sweet finish there, showing you some major strength and the ability to sky. I rode that elevator right to the top floor. <laughs> Explosive hops. I'll tell you what, he can really catch you off guard. From deep three-point range. Nice first.